Hello everyone, I'm Rasha and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will show you one of the best text editor. And this is Nano. And in this video, I will show you all the options. This is how Nano text editor looks like in terminal. In order to begin, let me just close this whole terminal and let me uh, start from the beginning. With Nano, you can create a text file, code files, Python, C file. You can uh, add some hexadecimal code or binary code, anything. In order to create a file with Nano, you just have to type NANO, Nano, and you just have to type after this fi your file name. So let's suppose I am creating a temporary file and let's name it as temp.txt. Okay, so if I hit enter, this will create a file with file name temp.txt and in here we can write anything. So now I have write, uh, I have wrote some text here, right? Hello, I'm Rasha and dash dash dash. Okay, so now in order to save this text, what you have to do is there is a thing. So uh, to help you out, uh, they have this these uh, little uh, dashboard here also. And here you you can see that here uh, it is written. And this thing means uh, control. So you have to press Control O to write. And uh, this means to save. Okay, so to write or to save, uh, you have to do Control O. So if I do control O, then it will uh, give me like this uh, option like this and it will say like file name to write uh, temp.txt and uh, I just have to hit enter and it will write. Uh, that means it will save. So if I hit enter, it will save uh, the file with this uh, text that I have created. Okay. So now uh, if I want to uh, exit from this uh, text editor, uh, how can I do it? Uh, uh, you just have to do control X. Okay, so let's do control X now. I did control X and uh, now I'm back in the terminal. Now uh, let's open this file once again. You can just do this thing once again and you will get this thing back from where you started. Uh, now in uh, suppose you want to find some text. Okay, you uh, you have a big file You have a big code file. You have a C code or Python code something. Okay, and now you have to uh, Find a text uh, a function name. Okay, uh, suppose the function name is nano you have to find it So what you can do is you have a thing here called uh, Where is? Okay, you have to do you have just you just have to do control W. I did control W and you get this prompt uh, to for searching now if i search for nano and if i hit enter then uh, it will just uh, give me the first instance of that uh, name that string so uh, this is where uh, it pointed that nano is here okay now suppose i want to replace some text okay so what i can do control slash backward slash and uh, uh, if i want to replace uh, i just have to uh, find the text first so let's say uh, I will do nano once again and now uh, I want to just type here like what I want to replace nano with so let's replace nano with uh, nano okay so let's do this uh, I will hit enter and it will say okay so replace this instance so this instance it is talking about so if I do yes here then it have replaced this one but uh, now uh, it, it will go to the second instance and it is here now if i do yes here then it will go to third instance but now suppose i want to replace all the instances at once then i just have to type a no control is required here you just have to type a i will press a and it will replace everything uh, every nano there are some other options that you can play within nano like this is go to line cursor position justify to spell you have undo and redo also here but now let's look at some command line options that you can work with okay so i will work with just two or three command line options uh, let's exit from here first control x so we have changed some uh, change this text file so it is saying modified okay so now if you want to save this text file you will press y if you don't if you don't want to save this you will press no so right now i don't want to save this so i will just press n and it will just uh, take me back to the terminal okay so now let's look at uh, an important function uh, an important option of nano which is a minus l so if i do nano minus l and if i do temp.txt then this function will uh, give me a, a prompt uh, give me uh, this uh, this look in which the line number are also indicated 
so uh, through this uh, so suppose you have uh, c code and it uh, when you compile that you, when you compile that code it gave you an error like uh, that error is on line number 5 so or line number 502 so you don't you don't want to scroll to that line so you can just uh, go to that line using this uh, control uh, underscore or you can just use this uh, use these line numbers for uh, to look at that line number easily so you can use this function so we will just exit first and you can use this nano minus l okay so let's look at another option so right now we have we uh, looked at some uh, one one option and there is in a uh, other option in which you don't uh, you don't directly go uh, you directly don't go to this nano interface this nano command line text editor you first type the whole uh, document or the whole code whatever you want to type a normal text file in the this uh, terminal so that is called stdn uh, you will just type it here and it will directly uh, send that to nano text editor and there you can edit it so how it works is you will just uh, do nano minus nano dash okay you will do nano dash you hit enter and now it is saying reading data from keyboard type control d or control dd to finish so now what you have to do is you can just type anything here okay so let me write some text first so this is what i wrote okay so now uh, you wrote the whole text suppose you can write a uh, whole python code also here or a c code whatever you want okay so now in order to finish you just have to press control d d and now you are in uh, this nano text editor so you wrote the whole thing in stdn and you are uh, you uh, it will just send that whole uh, to nano text editor okay so now here Uh, uh this is uh, like uh, this whole thing is in buffer okay it's in memory you just you have to save it now so you to save you have to uh, do control o you do control o and uh, cuz we don't uh, we don't we haven't specified a file name here okay you, we didn't uh, do like nano temp.txt something we just did nano dash and uh, the we don't have a file name right now okay so we have to specify a file name so let's do uh, this time oreo audio dot txt because I'm eating audio. So let's hit enter. It wrote six lines. Now it's not in buffer. It's in mem. Uh, it's in disk. Okay. So now we wrote this file. We wrote this file audio dot txt. Okay. And now suppose we want to look at some text directly. You want your cursor to be positioned at a particular string. How can you do it with Nano? so what you have to do is nano so this is one option that i use uh, mostly which is nano plus c slash and suppose i want to uh, look uh, i have a c code okay and it have several functions and i want to uh, place my cursor uh, at a particular function name and suppose right now i'm talking about this thing uh, let's place the cursor at this text terminal so it will look uh, in the file uh, for this Word terminal, and it will place the cursor at the first instance of the string. So we will do here terminal, and I will specify the file name after this. So we name the file audio dot txt. I hit enter, and you can see the cursor is at terminal, and it is at the first instance. So if I press here, some write something here, it is at that cursor. Now, so, but suppose that we have uh, two instances of something, then uh, it will uh, put that at the first instance. Let Let's also look at this. Uh, I will press no and nano plus c slash input audio dot txt. So input have two instances, uh, and it gave the uh, it put the cursor at uh, the first instance instance of that string input. So that's all. Uh, most about mostly about nano. we will look up about some other text editors like vim uh, sublime um, mostly um, mostly also use sublime there are other text editors that uh, coders use like atom and others so nano i want to describe in detail like uh, cuz in future i will uh, write everything on nano mostly mostly i use vim also vim is my favorite but uh, for smaller files to edit rc or uh, rc of uh, something or for of to edit configuration files or uh, uh, smaller 
uh, like 10 or 20 lines of code I, I mostly use nano so that's why i wanted to describe this and it, it is a wonderful text editor and it, it's a like whole in command line it, it don't take any kind of like your processor requirements or uh, ram or something like uh, heavy machine requirements it's all on command line so that's all about nano uh, thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel